what are some of the techniques you applied for risk-based testing? So this can be another question. So if you are an experienced person and going for an interview, you might be asked about the risk-based testing first thing. And then what are some of the techniques you have applied for risk-based testing? So techniques are pretty simple. Whenever you do risk-based testing, okay, you start with the product risk analysis and some techniques for the risk analysis are reading the requirement, design documents thoroughly and closely. And in the requirement, if there is a risk rating defined for those requirements for those modules, that becomes the basis of your test design. And then brainstorming, having a conversation with the stakeholders. That's another important thing. And then having one to one conversation, small group conversation with business and technology to see what are the high risk areas that we need to cater for, right? So these are some of the analysis work that needs to be done by the testing team, mostly test leads and managers, including the testing team to go through the documentation having a clear conversation with the business stakeholders and other technology stakeholders to look for the areas that are high risk and then based on that knowledge you as a testing team then prioritize your testing accordingly according to the risk that is identified now in order to avoid the missing things it is always a good idea so there might be a possibility that there is a high risk module or or the system that has been missed right so in order to avoid that sort of scenario that a particular risk categorization has been missed it is always good to have a checklist of functional and non-functional areas have the systems in the checklist have the modules in the checklist and then based on those system and module you go ahead and say when you go ahead with the discussion with the project stakeholders or the technology stakeholders or the business then you go ahead and elaborate that these are the systems that we have taken into the account for testing is this the full list that is in scope so solution architects will be able to guide you in that particular case yes all of these are the only systems that are being touched and are in scope of this particular release so based on that now you have the checklist now you will be able to go ahead and quickly uh, get the categorization of risk for risk for all those modules when you have the checklist everyone is across that yes these are the only impacted system or the systems that are being built for which the testing needs to be done as well so checklist is very very important of the functional and non-functional areas not only the systems and the modules but also the functional and non-functional areas and then based on that what priority or the risk appetite is or what the risk level is for those areas and then you design or you target your testing accordingly now some of them um, uh, these checklist item basically can be like functionality localization usability reliability performance and supportability so these are so there can be multiple checklists one is for the systems and modules then second one is based on the functional non-functional aspect so that will help you a tabular format will definitely going to help you right so these are some of the techniques that you can apply in the risk-based testing now in order to explain this to the interviewer you can basically go ahead with some of the key points that are mentioned on the slide but also you can go ahead and mention about the checklist items right so creating the uh, the tabular format around the system so in the first column you can put the system and module and note down all the module and in the next column you can have the risk level for that particular module so something you can explain uh, nobody is looking for very elaborate and perfect uh, sort of checklist but when interviewer asks something around this they are looking for your understanding whether you will be able to basically perform this activity uh, when you are given a particular project to work on right so